Bé, la pròxima xerrada serà a càrrec d'Igor Barahona Torres i porta per títol The Level of Adoption of Analytical Tools in Barcelona, Spain. Hello, good morning. Yes, I am really impressed because with all the talks that I've been listening before is lots of new knowledge and lots of... Basically, my impression is that uh, the majority of the talks are uh, in, the, in, the, in the age of the new knowledge. And the point is that uh, here, uh, my research is, is, is not, uh, uh, is not providing uh, nothing new. Basically, it's doing uh, something new, but with tools that already exist, you know? Uh, What is the point on, on, on this? Uh, analytical tools. Analytical tools is uh, a statistical method, an algorithm. Uh, you know, all this morning we have been talking about analytical tools. Uh, but how can be adopted in companies? How can be adopted, in, especially in business? Uh, how can be promoting? Uh, promo promoting? Uh, we can say, how can we sell analytical models in, in business environment in Barcelona. And uh, basically, this is uh, the core of the research. Uh, we, we are following three points. We, uh, we, do, we did lots, lots of uh, literature review, uh, reading papers, uh, reading, and you know how, uh, and the way I said before, this is uh, using tools that already exist in the literature, but with a new approach. So, uh, for example, here, uh, there are four that we, we call key drivers, and we combine these four key drivers, we can just increase the level of adoptions of analytical tools. So, here we have four key drivers, and here we have a scale to measure the level of adoption of analytical tools in, in companies. So, uh, here we have the analytical ignorance, and, and uh, uh, this is the, the greater in the scale, uh, the better in the use of analytical uh, tools. And this is the way we are uh, uh, analyzing or, and processing our data. Have you ever seen the, the movie Moneyball with Brad Pitt and directed by uh, Benedict Mellis? It's about the Oakland Athletics. Uh, uh, Brad Pitt uh, acts like a general manager. Uh, basically, they, they are extremely, with a very, very tiny budget, they don't have money. And they are starting to use analytical methods. Uh, if you have ever seen this movie, you, uh, probably you have a clue uh, what I, I am talking about right now, you know? The point is using uh, analytical tools, not sophisticated tools, just uh, seven basic tools in order to, uh, to make decisions based on quantitative evidence. Uh, uh, and we are just ranking uh, companies in, in this scale. Well, this I am not explaining. Uh, I am running out of time, so I am not explaining this. But uh, this is the point. Uh, we, saw, uh, we, we emailed 6,460 companies, and we received 255 responses. Uh, these companies contact us and provide us information about uh, their analytical practice, uh, what, uh, what are, uh, uh, analytical tools they are using, uh, uh, how they are making decisions based on analytical methods, on, on facts. Show me the facts. Show me uh, uh, what... Uh, and we are using this five-step uh, approach to analyze uh, the information. You know, uh, there is some uh, uh, approach called statistical engineering. Uh, the, basically, the idea is uh, to integrate analytical tools in, in order to extract uh, relevant information. And this is the scale. Uh, here we have the key drivers, the scale. I rank the companies, and I process the information. This is very simple, even a five-year-old child could understand this. It's nothing new in here, and, 
But the point is helping the companies to, to make better decisions, to make more money, to, get, uh, to improve performance. Basic, basically, this is the point of this research. And the reference, and I think that's all. Thank you for listening to me.